welcome back guys now we will see in the e-tab uh, we will draw we will make a model 132 kb uh, network and we will uh, inject the fault current face to ground fault with solidly connected neutral system and with ngr <coughs> 5 ohm ngr and we will see how much will it will be the reduction in the fault current if you are using ngr and if you are not using an ngr so first of all we have connected here uh, the uh, fault uh, source uh, you can see this is uh, you can call it as a grid which is 20000 mva short circuit uh, capacity is connected to the transformer so this is 26 mv transformer okay and the rating of the transformer is 132 kV by 11 kV and the full load amperes FLA at the primary side is 113.7 and the second is 1365 amperes impedance of the transformer is 9% so the impedance of 132 kV slash 11 kV transformer varies from 9 to 12 percent so for high voltage if the high voltage is are increased short circuit levels are increased so the manufacturer are making a transformer with high more high percentage impedances next steps we are not considering grounding here okay so the vector group of the transformer is dy and one so it means that 132 kv side is in delta and 11 kv side is in star and it is a neutral and it is 30 degree and low voltage side is lagging 30 degree or we can say HV is leading 30 degrees okay and uh, you can see here the grounding we have chosen here there could be different types we are choosing here the solid grounding here and uh, we press ok so now we have to inject uh, the fault over here so we have to select the bus and we have to select that fault so it's already selected so we have selected the bus at which we want to give the fault the load here selection selected is one mva lump load so we will inject the fault here so you can see at the bus if the, there is a single phase to ground faults then the fault current is 15.198 kilo ampere which is very high and another thing to note here is the most of the fault in the networks especially the medium voltage networks are face to ground fault almost 90 percent of the faults are face to ground faults and if you can control the face to ground uh, fault current you can save your equipment so this high well high uh, fault current can easily damage the conductors can damage the transformers each transformer uh, has to go uh, the, uh, through this fault current uh, each time when, when the fault occurs and uh, it's also depreciating the life of transformers conductors and also the earthing system so as as uh, current passes through the earth system the corrosion also taking place in the earthing rods so we want to limit this one so let's in connect now some impedance here so i will select instead of solidly ground i will select the resistor so resistor uh, just remember this point this is almost 15 kilo amperes so i have uh, chosen the resistor of 5 ohms same as our resistor that i have uh, shown you in the grid so if you use 5 ohm resistor so again we will inject the fault so here you can see the fault current phase to ground fault current is now reduced from uh, 1015 kilo amperes to 1.261 kilo amperes so this this much is the reduction uh, in the fault level and that's why we are using NGR in the networks so here is uh, the basically results of this ETAP calculations so I will be adding this also or you can able to you will be able to download this calculation results so here you can see this is the system where NGR is connected and you can see this line to ground fault the current is 1261 uh, kilo ampere 1.261 kilo amperes and where the solidly grounded system is connected the current value is 15.198 kilo amperes so in this one you can also find out the three phase short circuit values and all possible faults are calculated here line to line line to ground faults and positive sequence negative sequence so 
I will be adding this uh, calculations in the link so you can review this you can check out this so this is the total application of NGR thank you very much